concepts of integral calculus, beginning integral calculus, is the concept of average value. We can use calculus to find the average value of function. We're going to have two situations here to contrast, to find by discovery why this average value formula we're going to look at later is helpful. On the left we have, what is the average value of the function f of x equals x from x equals 0 to x equals 6? And for that we're going to examine graphically what's going on if we have the function f of x equals x, which is the linear parent function, and we evaluate this function from x equals 0 to x equals 6, we go up here to x equals 6, we have an output value also of 6. Well, that's just y equals x. And for an average value, we take the two output values, 0 for an output here, plus 6 for an output here, over 2. And we're left with 6 over 2 equals 3. So 3 is the average value of this function from 0 to 6. All right? And really, it's kind of logical, isn't it? Because if we, take, if we go halfway between 0 and 6 for an input, we're going to get halfway between 0 and 6 as an output. So graphically, this makes sense. For this, do we need calculus? No, we do not. But we have this situation over here to the right. What is the average value of the function g of x equals x squared from x equals 0 to x equals 6? And for this one, this is the quadratic parent function, uh, y equals x squared. And we're going to go from 0 to 6. And the function is going to look something like, like this. All right, so this is going to be uh, g of x equals x squared. And what we have is at x equals 6, we're going to have an output value of 6 squared. So our coordinate here is going to be 6, 36. Let me go over to the left here. We have 36. Now, if we were looking at this function like we did to the left here, the average value between these two points is going to be 0 for this output here, plus 36 for this output here, over 2, which will equal 18. Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, if we're looking at a line, and here in red I'm drawing a secant line between these between our two points, the beginning and end, and we get, went halfway between at 3, we would come right up here and we'd be halfway between the output values between 0 and 36, we have 18. But what's the problem? The problem is that this secant line goes above the curve. And so even though the average value would be 18 if this were a linear relation, we see the curve is below. So we know that our real answer is going to be somewhere below 18. We don't know where yet exactly, but we need to use calculus to find this out. And to use calculus, what we do is we take sort of an infinite number of tiny rectangles, infinitesimally small rectangles, to get the exact average value. And the average value formula is average value, abbreviating, equals 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. And there's a little song that can help you remember what this formula is. It is this. 1 over b minus a times the integral of a function integrated from a to b. That's the average value. So anyway, let's go ahead and apply. Uh, first of all, we're going to find, locate a and b. Well, a is going to be 0, input value 0, b is going to be 6. And so the average value in this situation, average value is going to be equal to 1 over b, which is 6, minus a, which is 0, times the integral from 0 to 6 of x squared dx. And 
this 1 over 6 minus 0 is going to be 1 sixth. So we're going to be equal to 1 sixth. And the integral of x squared, we have to raise this 2 power by 1. So we're going to get x cubed. And we divide by the power to which we raise. We're going to be dividing by 3. And we're going to be evaluating from x equals 0 to x equals 6. And simplifying, we're going to get 1 18th, 6 times 3 is 18, x cubed from 0 to 6. And now evaluating, come over here to the left, we're going to get uh, x cubed, well, x at 6, that's going to be uh, 6 cubed divided by 18 minus the 0. Uh, we're going to have 0 cubed over 18. Well, 0 cubed is 0. We don't need to worry about this. And 6 cubed is 216. 216 divided by 18 equals 12. So this is going to be our average value, and this is the use of the average value formula. I hope this has been helpful. We're, I'd invite you to work a few other problems using average value. Thanks for viewing.